My husband and I were on vacation on, a, on the beach in the southwest uh, part of Oahu. We were watching the TV news at 9 o'clock at night and, and I happened to say that there was a tsunami, an earthquake and a tsunami in Japan. They were saying it was about six hours till the um, tsunami would hit Hawaii. We looked it up and down the beach there and realized those other cabins were all kind of dark and it was getting to be pretty late and we realized that they may not know what's going on. So we went down, started going knocking on doors, my husband and I, and letting other people know what happened. And they started asking us immediately, what do we do? Where do we go? And that's when I gave them a real quick disaster <laughs> explanation of what to do after a disaster like that, what they needed to take with them and what they needed to prepare. After a disaster happens, a lot of people are not familiar with what to do and are not as comfortable with what steps to take. When the storm was over, about 7 a.m., uh, first light uh, in Houston, I, I got up, put on sturdy shoes and a hard hat. I wanted to at least see the damage around our house and knock on the doors of a couple of our neighbors, make sure they were okay. And it was great to see that people who you really didn't have any feel for prior to this event uh, working and acting as a community. A pair of ladies that lived two doors down the, the street from us and they had a an oak tree that came straight through their living room. They had water uh, coming into the house because of the rain that had occurred after and I asked Terry to go back to the house because we had three heavy-duty uh, blue tarps available. I said, can you grab two of the tarps? Let's just give it to them, they can throw on the roof because we knew we didn't have any roof damage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes teams of people, teams of neighbors to do things that you and the people in your household can't accomplish on your own.